powered by the Montana Television Network. Montana This Morning continues on Montana's News Leader. Congressman Adam Schiff says President Trump could face jail time once he leaves the White House. I'm Mark Liverman with reaction on Capitol Hill to all the news emerging from the investigation into the president's 2016 campaign. And unfortunately, it can be easy to get caught off guard by a holiday scam. Criminals take advantage of feelings of generosity and goodwill at this time of year. Coming up, the Bozeman Police Department explains what to look for and tells us how to protect ourselves. Good morning to you. Welcome to your Monday. I'm Missy O'Malley with Chet Lehman. Matt Elwell will have our work week forecast in just a moment. It is 631 and our top story for you now. A top lawmaker is suggesting that President Trump could end up in prison once he leaves the White House. This as Washington awaits the findings of Robert Mueller's investigation. CBS's Mark Liverman has more. President Trump could be indicted the day he leaves office. That's according to Democrat Adam Schiff, who appeared on CBS's Face the Nation yesterday. He may be the first president uh, in quite some time to face the real prospect of jail time. Schiff, the likely incoming House Intelligence Chairman, was one of several lawmakers sounding off on the Sunday political talk shows. It was all in response to the latest in Robert Mueller's Russia investigation and Friday's sentencing memo of Mr. Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen. Federal prosecutors in New York's Southern District said Cohen paid off Trump's alleged mistresses, quote, to influence the 2016 presidential election in coordination with and at the direction of individual one, also known as President Trump. Republicans, though, are urging patience until the Mueller investigation is complete. I would caution everyone just continue to wait until all this plays out. But, but it's important that, that, we, that this continue to move forward. On Saturday, the president addressed the developments. As far as the uh, report that we see, according to everybody I've spoken to, I have not read it. Uh, there's absolutely no collusion, which is very important. And in response to James Comey's closed door testimony to lawmakers on Friday, the president tweeted, quote, this whole deal is a rigged fraud headed up by dishonest people who would do anything so that I could not become president. They are now exposed. Mark Liverman, CBS News, New York. Now, on top of all that's going on with the investigation on Saturday, President Trump announced he's changing his chief of staff. He said that General John Kelly will leave the White House by the end of the year. Mr. Trump is expected to announce a replacement as soon as today, and we'll continue to follow the progress of that story. More on CBS This Morning at 7 o'clock. Of course. Yep. Uh, I got to say, as far as waking up today, warmer than it was all of last week. So I oh, feel like sure. we're starting off this week in a Boy, pretty good way. Boy, you set your standards so yeah. high. <laughs> I know, I know. Baby steps. Uh, yeah, baby steps. Still baby cold steps. outside. It but is. You're right. It is a little warmer than the, the negative temperatures we were yes. dealing with. I have such a negative name. <laughs> uh, anyway, temperatures should be warming up a bit today, pretty close to the average for the most of us. But we are talking the potential of snow, especially as you head into the evening hours tonight. We're going to break down how much snow we could see and um, the timing of it all. It's all coming up in just a few minutes. Thank you, Matt. It is now 634. Our top local story for you. Two, pe two people are dead after a head-on crash involving two pickup trucks in Bridger Canyon on Saturday night. According to Montana Highway Patrol, the incident occurred just before 8 p.m. at mile marker 15 near Flaming Arrow Road. A man driving a white Chevrolet pickup traveling southbound crossed the center line and crashed into a woman driving a silver Dodge pickup northbound. Now, there were no passengers in either vehicle. Both drivers were pronounced dead at the scene. The woman was wearing her seatbelt, and the man was not wearing his. Alcohol is suspected to be a factor in the crash. We will keep you updated with information. In other headlines this morning, uh, crews from Gallatin County have put concrete barricades outside of the county dog park to keep drivers from parking on the curb. Dog park brings in a lot of traffic lately. People have been driving on top of the curb into the grass area, breaking down the curb and creating a lot of mud. County Conservation and Parks Director Michael Harris says the county had to take action to prevent sewer problems. The mud tracks out on the street, fills up the storm drains, and so we had to finally put up concrete barricades across every uh, access point on Ferguson until spring when we have the actual parking lot built on the south end of the dog park. Now until a parking lot is completed, people can park on Ferguson or in the parking lots on Oak or Shockey Avenue. And of course, it's easy to get distracted this time of year, while at the same time feeling a little bit of extra joy and sense of compassion. Unfortunately, scammers are oftentimes more successful during the holiday season. 
And MTN's Patrice Parks has some tips to keep you safe from scams this time of year. Captain of detectives at the Bozeman Police Department, Corey Klum, says he's seen a number of people fall victim to scams over the years. So, so I, th I think that people use the holiday season to um, prey on people's um, good nature and, and holiday spirit. Captain Plum says he doesn't necessarily think scams increase during this time of year, but he does think scammers take advantage of people's vulnerabilities during the holiday season. A couple of pieces of advice is if something seems too good to be true, it is. Um, never part with financial information over the telephone, unless of course you're the one that initiated the contact, but if somebody calls you claiming to be whoever, don't don't give them your financial information. Clum says scammers often try to create a sense of urgency. They might tell you your computer has a terrible virus you need to fix right now, or that you owe the IRS money that has to be paid immediately. Always take a deep breath and verify information. In addition, Clum says you should never have to send money to retrieve a prize you've supposedly won. Never. Um, winnings are winnings. You don't have to buy the winnings. Um, you don't have to send any funds uh, to, to collect your prize. I mean, a, a win is a win, right? You've got to pay taxes when you, <laughs> when you win these things. If you do fall victim, immediately contact your financial institution. Hannah Stiff is a manager with the Better Business Bureau. She says you also need to be cautious while online shopping this time of year. At a safe website, you're going to want to look for HTTPS. And the S at the end means secure. So when you see that, you know you're at a safe website. And you also want to look for the little lock icon next to the URL bar. So make sure you're looking for that when you're online shopping. But the other big thing to be wary of is uh, whether you're going to the right site. So a lot of these scammers who are targeting people during the holidays will create a fictitious site that sounds like something you know and love. Maybe it sounds like Amazon, but has an extra word tacked on to the end. The sad reality is these scams have become more commonplace year-round. Captain Clum says as scammers continue to use more sophisticated tactics, potential victims have to remain calm and vigilant. Honestly, if they would spend as much time doing legitimate work as they put into these scams, they could make, a, they could make an honest living and, and help people rather than, rather than scamming people out of their money. In Bozeman, Patrice Parks for MTN News. Now, if you'd like to report a scam or have a current scam circulating across Montana that you're aware of, head to bbb.org slash scam. This week under the big sky, MTV Music Video Award winning rapper uh, Superman talks about faith, hope and love and how his own faith and understanding about religion has evolved over the years. Under the Big Sky is sponsored by Rocky Mountain Vein Clinic and Markovich Real Estate. Growing up in church, really passionate about my faith and Christ and the values of love. That was very passionate in my music. I was just basically a Christian rapper, you know, like straight up gospel rapper, man. That's how we started. The teachings of Jesus really stood out to me. Jesus was saying, you know, forgive them. They know not what they do. Even though he was getting beaten and everything, he still forgave, and which is the ultimate love. So when it comes to being native and what was done, they forced us into Christianity. You can't have long hair, you can't speak your language, you need to be a good white Christian. Why would I want to be a part of that, you know? It was forced upon us. But growing up in church, you see other things, you know? You see love, you see the good parts. I felt like what was done to Native people at that time wasn't Jesus. It wasn't the spirit of the Creator, you know, that Jesus has. It wasn't Him. Hate doesn't exist in His teachings and who He is. It was the hearts of men, you know, conquering and imperialism and all of that. That's human beings. And so those kind of like separated at that time. We go through this journey of life. I have a lot of questions about spirituality, about Christianity. And then you have native culture, spirituality. My mind was kind of like open more. I wasn't as Christian box, Western church culture as much. I could never throw it out because I've seen so many amazing things. Having that open mind about other cultures, other spiritualities. 
By the way, the new episode of Under the Big Sky featuring Superman premieres Christmas Eve, 10 o'clock, right here on this station. That'll be a good one to watch as very, well. Very, very 10 o'clock, cool. Christmas Eve, right here. What an incredible human. Absolutely true. We love Superman. We are going to take a quick break, but here's a little look ahead on Monster this morning, as well as CBS. CWD could pose a threat to animals here in Yellowstone National Park. I'm John Shearer, and coming up, I'll explain how the park could have a built-in mechanism to help it fight the disease. Good morning. Ahead on CBS this morning, a late fall snowstorm turns deadly and leaves tens of thousands without power. We're in North Carolina and Virginia as crews work to clean up. And a groundbreaking study highlighted on 60 Minutes finds screen time changes the brain makeup in some children. Psychologist Lisa Damore is here with how your child's brain is affected and what you can do to prevent it. We'll see you at 7.